What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jazbees football hit packs here on May 17th. We are guaranteed a card. Chase Lamar, Baker, and much more. As you can see, we have a little sell sheet on there. So what happened here, guys, is uh, we had added today, right when we posted it, uh, about maybe 30, 40 minutes later, we added. We decided we wanted to give away a spot in this break. So all you had to do was buy a full spot in this break. You get entered to win a free spot. But by accident, we forgot to take out one spot, so we oversold it, and we sold some spots in, in pack breaks. So what's going to happen now is if you bought a full spot, which is $150 value, you get entered to win a free spot, what's going to happen now is that we're just going to give $160 in break credit away. So we're going to up at $10 and give you $160. looks like Nick put it in there just now. So those are only for customers that bought spots straight up. If you want a spot in a, in a, in a pack break, you're in the break regardless. But just this extra uh, $160 is going to go towards just customers that bought spots fully. So again, only these customers here from Aaron, Chris, Chris, Zach, Zach, Kevin, Kevin Smith, Joshua, Zach, Victor, Jeremy, Chris again, James, James, Zach, and Liam. So again, that's the only thing. And now if you want spots in the cello packs or the prison packs, the retail packs, you're in the break regardless. So we sold out 32. Just we got forgot to take out the one. So that's all it is. So, dice roll. And again, we just added that about an hour into the break because people weren't moving until we wanted to kind of get people to entice to get into it. So again, six and a three, that's nine times. So I'm going to roll the dice. This is going to be for someone that's going to win $160 in break credit. And then, of course, we use the same dice roller for the customer names and the pack numbers between one and 32. And the way it works, we randomize the customer names, randomize the numbers. Whatever pack number you end up with is what you get. We open it up. And this is a high-risk, high-reward type of break. You are guaranteed a card. It can range from as low as $30, guys, but it can also range as high as $300 plus across the 32-pack print run. So, obviously, it's a risk, but it's a pretty cool, fun break to get into, though. So, again, six and a three, nine times. This is for $160 in break credit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times. So six and a three, nine times. Zach Sorensen. So congratulations. You just won sixty dollars in break or hundred and sixty dollars in break credit. So instead of giving away a spot on the break since we oversold it, we're just gonna send you hundred and sixty dollars in break credit. And again, you can use that. You can use that across the website for whatever you'd like, and I'll write this down, I'll do it at the end of the break. Now Let's do it for the customer names and the pack numbers. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times. Zach Paul and Kevin Sullivan. Nine times here now on the pack numbers, one through thirty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Six down to twenty-three. All right, so Zach Paul, you got pack six. Chris with 12. James, you have 29. Daniel with 27. Chris with 18. Uh, Jared with 32. Matt with 24. You won that in prison, 10. Kevin Smith with 16. Liam with 7. Zach Sorensen with 8. Zach Paul from prison, 9. You got 14. Jared from prison, 9. You got 20, as well as 17 from prison, 10. Brenton from prison, 9. You got 21. Chris from prison, 10. You got 13. Victor with 26. Fouled with 30 from prison, 9. James with 25, Zach with 2 from Prism 10, or Prism, yeah, Prism 10. Zach Sorensen, you have 28, Philip from Prism 9, you have 15, Charles with Prism 10, you got 19, Zach Sorensen with 11, Chris with 4, Zach with 31, Chris with 22, Jeremy with 9, Aaron with 5, Joshua with 3, Kevin 
from Prism 9, you have Pack 1, Joshua with 10, and Kevin Sullivan with 23. So here you go. Let's actually let's change it by customer name. That makes it a little easier on all of us. We'll go alphabetical order. Now, let's do this. Let's print and let's rip. Nice, you purchased a PS3 today? Honestly, that's one of the only consoles from like PS3, PS2 to PS3, 4. I, I never had a PS3. I, I think from PS2, I skipped to like Xbox 360 and I didn't get a PS3. Then I went to PS4 and then I still have a PS4 now. Alrighty, so good luck. Let's start off with Aaron. And Aaron, actually sorry, let me print out these labels. That makes my life easier too as well. And the shipping team's life easier. Hold on one second, guys. In the meantime, Aaron, you got pack five. So let's go. Pack five. Good luck. We got a Josh Jacobs. And again, the card is fine. It's just the magnetic is a little scratched. And that is a little silver rookie autograph from Prism Collegiate. So there you go, Aaron. Your first one is right there. All right. Up next, Brenton, you got pack 21. Prover 22-1. Illustrious Legends autograph from Spectra on card. That is Jim Zorn and it is a two out of two. Very nice. That's awesome. Alright, so there you go, Brenton. Pack 21. Charles, you have 19. Wow, 
Wow, it's a Deshaun Watson. 10 out of 20 from Flawless. It's a three-color patch and the on-card autograph. 2018 Flawless. Very nice. Nice one, Charles. All right, Chris, you're up next, buddy. Good luck. 4, 12, 18, 22, and 13. So 4, 12. 4. And you got 12. 13 over here too as well. Then you got 18, 22. 18, 22. So we'll go in order. 4, 12, 18, 22, and end off with 13. All right, good luck. So again, fours first, four. We have a Immaculate Collection Inc. Peyton Manning, 24 out of 25. Very nice. And this is from 2017 Immaculate Collegiate. Very nice. Next one, 12, 12. Wow, look at this, it's a one of one. Looks like the big 12 or big 10 patch, Parrish Campbell. There you go, Chris, you're gonna be wide awake now. Sorry, I got you a little confused earlier. Wow, you got one of the sell sheet hits. What a break. Chris, man. 26 out of 49 from Absolute Lamar Jackson. Tools of the trade. How about that? Pack 22. We got a Daniel Jones. 39 out of 75 from Unparalleled. Little patch auto. Damn. Jesus. Your last one, pack 13. We have DK Metcalf from Impeccable, 9 out of 75. All right, there you go, Chris. All right, next one. Danny Patera.
Prism 9, pack 27. No problem, Chris. Wow, there's a sell sheet hit, and it's a rookie collegiate ticket. 15 out of 25, Deshaun Watson. Very nice. There you go, Daniel. And you won that from Prism 9. How about that? Followed from Prism 9 as well, getting packed 30. We got a Keenan Allen, and that's a rookie from Crown Royale, and it's a 1 out of 5 Keenan Allen. How about that? That's rare right there. It's back from, I think, 2013, Panini Crown Royale. How about that? That's nice. Foul. There you go, man. James, you got two of them, pack 25 and 29. 25, 29. 29. Good luck, man. This is a graded card, I believe. Graded card. Oh. Ayo, what is this? Wow, there's a Kyler Murray. 2019 Panini Spectra Neon Greens Kyler Murray Jersey Autograph. It's a three color patch. And it is a 9, 5, 10, 25 out of 50. Woo. There you go. Very, very nice. There you go, James. I'm excited too, Ray. Ray Rice. Um, you know, because I'm just going to collect a lot of his Oregon stuff. Not that I don't want the Chargers stuff, but I'm more of a big Oregon Ducks fan, of course. So I'm just going to be following Justin on his Chargers journey, so... I just really want to collect anything Oregon. So I want to get like definitely like the orange cracked ice like college ticket and stuff like that. And we got a duel. Patch autograph of Jared Goff and Cooper Cup. Six out of ten from Limited. Nice. You got an arm of danger. That's sweet, man. Yeah, I do like those leaf cards for sure. Those are nice. All right. Jared, you got a couple as well. Dogs for life? Hell nah. <laughs> uh, 17... 32 and 20. So 17. Let's over here. 32 and 20. All right, 17. 17. And it's Ezekiel Elliott, 2016 rookie die cut autographs, mint nine with a 10 autograph, 19 out of 25. Very nice.
It's a one of one printing plate autograph of Drew Brees. This is from 2000 and wow, this is 2006 Donruss. Back when he was his first year as a uh, as a saint. That's pretty cool. 2006 Donruss. Nice. And pack 20. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that, Brian. But what has USC done lately? And let's say... Well, I guess they did it with Sam Darnold that one year. But in the last 10 years. <laughs> Ooh, I remember this one, actually. There you go. Three out of three. Actually acquired this for us for hit packs. Carson Wentz, Alshon Jeffrey, and Zach Ertz. Three out of three. Look at those beautiful patches. There you go. That's nice. Jeremy. My thing is, peoples, is that how is it that USC always has the best recruiting class almost every year in the Pac-12? Maybe not the last two years because Oregon's been dominating. But yet they still don't win. What's up with that? Always getting five-star recruits and never happening. And definitely head-to-head. I don't think USC's beat Oregon in a long time. Ooh, there you go. Jerry Rice. Super Bowl champions from Spectra, which is a Nebula. One out of five. Joshua, you got three and ten. What are you talking about, Juan? I'm talking about recruiting classes. No, I'm just talking about recruiting classes, meaning the players you recruit to come to your school. Drew Locke, Flash of Greatness. 9 out of 20 in Pack 3. I'm not talking about Pack 12 titles. So, I mean, if that's the case, yes, UW has, has won a lot of them in the last 10 years. But also, UW hasn't been to a national championship two times in the last 10 years. Is that correct? I think you guys made it to one of the final fours a couple years back with um, that one quarterback, but didn't really do much. Joshua, number 10. I mean, I don't really like to brag about Oregon because, honestly, I mean, they haven't won a title. Um, but, I mean, if you really think about it, you go look at the stats. Oregon, for them not winning a national championship, which kind of sucks, which kind of sucks is that they've had, like, one of the best, like, win percentages in the last, like, 10 years 
in all of college football, but yeah, I've never won a, a, a national championship. It's like Alabama and then like Ohio State and all these other ones in college football. Derrick Henry, 23 out of 49. Well, peoples, come on, man. You know you guys dominated in the early 2000s. You guys dominated in the 90s against like U US UCLA. And then obviously you guys had all those historic running backs that you guys have had in your career. So, of course. Come on. We're kind of we're talking Cowboys talking about USC, Brian. And we're talking history. Kevin M with Pack One. I mean, we're talking about what you've done lately in the last, like, 10 years. <laughs> Tony Pollard, 4 out of 7. <laughs> but see, that's the one thing that USC could just... Look at, I'm, look at, I'm just talking Oregon football with USC the last 10 years. We're talking about history, of course USC is going to kill. And if we're talking just all over college, a big buddy of mine that I actually buy or I sell for, I sell cards for, He's he went to USC. He always, we always joke around with USC. Um... And he always says the same thing. Like, you know, USC and UCLA are, like, one of the two best colleges you can go to when it comes to athletics. Because I remember at one point when I was really studying it, USC and UCLA were, like, the most national championships across the board in, athlete, in athletics. You had, like, over 100 in, like, all sports, you know? But I'm just talking about football lately. <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. And I always tell them, I don't care about all that. Has USC beat Oregon in this amount of time? And then he knows... We have not. <laughs> That's all it is. All right, Kevin Smith. And don't get me wrong. If I can choose to go to USC, if I were to get a scholarship to go to USC, I would go to USC. If I could choose to get a scholarship to go to UCLA, I would go to UCLA. I'm not saying I wouldn't go to Oregon. I actually would love to go to Oregon. But it's like last year. I was actually going to go to that USC game last year, but I remember I had something planned. I think I had a break that weekend or something, and I couldn't even go to uh, to that Oregon game here in, US in USC. And they murdered USC, too. But I was able to make it up and go to the National Jump. Oh, uh, sorry, not National Jump. To the Rose Bowl game, which is pretty fun. We got a Josh Allen, 11 out of 20. And that's uh, 2018, Flawless Collegiate. Wow, that's like technically a rookie. Josh Allen, there you go. Very nice. Did you go to USC too, Brian? I'm just curious. I feel like I'm thinking like you did, probably. Oh, nice. That's sweet, man. All right, Kevin Sullivan now. With 23. That's sweet, man. My brother-in-law um, actually is an IT guy at USC for the medical center, Keck. So he's like technically a USC employee and like he always gets like crazy perks with USC. So cool. If my niece gets the good grades enough, she can actually get to go to USC tuition free. Which is crazy to think, but it's kind of one of the perks. Or at least they pay for, like, most of the tuition or something. All right, 23. Wow, there you go. Team signs. That's a one out of five. Baker Mayfield and Mark Andrews. Do autograph. OU. Yeah, like I always tell people, when it comes to, like, Eagles, I grew up with it because of my, my, my nephew's dad. Like, Randall Cunningham in the 90s. And I kind of grew up with him and my nephew. So I always got to watch like, um, so I've always gotten like, you know, got to get into Eagles because of that. So early McNabb is like my favorite quarterback still to this day. But when it came to Oregon, not that I didn't watch college football, but I didn't really follow it much. It wasn't until like 2003, I believe 2004 when I really, really got into it. And, um, uh, like seven, I really got into it with Dennis Dixon. Which I don't know if you guys know, but Dennis Dixon was a beast in college. And 
He would have won a national championship that year in 07. He would have won a Heisman if he didn't tear his ACL against Arizona and they lost. They got upset at number two. That was crazy. I was so pissed that day. It was so good. But he tore his ACL and that was it. Should have busted a Carson Wentz. And we got 20 out of 25. Deion Sanders. <laughs> well, you never know, Zach. Just because it's not in the South Street doesn't mean it's not a good hit. I mean, we only put up, what, one, two, three, four, five, six cards in the South Street. We had 32 packs. So there's, a, so there's a, some nice stuff in here, man. Oh, all right. I was sorry to hear about that, Brian. But, yeah. So you guys, we've gone to your CTG, etc. So, yeah. OJ actually helped her move into her dorm. No way. That's a cool story. <laughs> OJ, I actually just finished watching the the uh, OJ the documentary on ESPN with my wife the other day. My wife wanted to know more about OJ because she's really not into sports, but crazy, 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 crazy. All right, twenty four. You go, Matt. And we got a Dak Prescott hot rookies. From Phoenix Football to 199. That's a rookie Dak Prescott. <laughs> Sorry about that, peoples. I know. But it'll be the first thing tomorrow, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Alright, Phillip with pack 15. It'll marinate for overnight. And you'll get that Tatis, Brian. Out of 15. And we got a Rookie of the Year Contenders. Very nice. Josh Allen. That's money right there. That's really nice. Josh Allen is pretty good, man. I actually really like this guy. He can run. He has a cannon. All right, Victor. 26. Damn, Zach. You won all these spots besides your one spot straight up in Prism 9 and 10. That's crazy. One, two, three. Color patch and autograph. Phoenix football. Out of 50, and that's a rookie. Patch autograph. Another Josh Allen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem, man. I know, man. I know. Notre Dame. What about UCLA for sure? There has to be. You, you can get in with Joe. Joe's a big UCLA guy, which I have no idea why, but... I just think because he, he lives nearby UCLA, that's why. Alright, Zach. 31, 2, 6, and 14. And then these would be for the rest of the... Oops, sorry. And the last three would be for Zach here. Sorensen. So we got 31... Two, six, and fourteen. All right. <laughs> that's right. You guys are kind of. Like, <laughs> yeah. Sport Oppo, that's right. Oppo, Oppo Mojo's for you guys. Yeah, thirty-one. What am I doing? Wow, look at that. That's a Dan Marino autograph from Donruss Classics 2005. Old school. And look at that. 5 out of 15. Like that, Zach? You like that? That was pack 31. That was from your full spot.
pack two. We got Ezekiel Elliott from Unparalleled. And that is from 2017. It's a five out of five. And that is a uh, Mega Moon Lava. Five out of five. That's pretty cool. Six and then fourteen. A James Conner, Raider rookie. And it's a uh, 19 out of 23 autograph. And just remember, it's not the card's not scratched, it's just the magnetic. And your last one, Zach. Pack 14. No problem, Chris. Appreciate it, buddy. That is a rookie Baker Mayfield. I believe these are from Honors. 34 to 35. And again, Baker's stock has kind of fell off and Lamar's has just skyrocketed. But honestly, you know, I think Baker still has a lot of potential and upside. And hopefully he can turn it around because I feel like, you know, if you were out there buying Baker right now, you can definitely turn it into a great... Great profit if he can get back to to being pretty good as he showed flashes in his rookie season when he did play. All right. Zach, last ones, buddy. 8, 11, and 28, and then you're also going to get $106 in break credit. So 8, 11, and 28. Another Jerry Rice autograph. How about that? Two out of ten from Clear Vision. Very nice. 2015 Clear Vision. Yeah, Darnold's another one too, Brian. He showed great flashes, and I think at, towards the end of last season, he was just killing it when he finally came back from mono. That's another good one that I think if you can pick up on the low this year, he could be another good one to flip over. Then we got David Sills and Will Greer do autograph from Flawless uh, Collegiate. Dual signatures, 9 out of 25. You know, it, it, it's just all about people who that they fall in love with, you know? Next year, someone's going to fall in love with another second-year player, and then their stuff is just going to skyrocket. You know? And someone's stock will eventually go down, which sucks too, but just the way it goes. Last one. Wow, look at that. Lies right there. Mike Singletary, one out of five. Flawless collegiate. When he went to Baylor. Look at those eyes. That's my kind of party. There you go. And there you go, guys. That was the break. This was the uh, Jaspies football hit packs that we did today on May 17th. We were guaranteed a card. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, one more break left tonight. Win some spots in the baseball hit packs that we'll be doing tomorrow. Appreciate it.